Tadi, what's the news? Samsung's long-awaited trifold is here. The Samsung Galaxy Z trifold is hitting the market in a matter of days, and now we know exactly what it's bringing to the table. Trifold is actually a bit of a misnomer, as its armor aluminium frame actually conceals a pair of titanium reinforced hinges, letting you switch from a 21 by 9 6.5 inch cover display to a separate 16 by 11 10 inch tablet panel. You may also notice that Samsung's mechanism is a departure from the current most well-established player in this space, the Huawei Mate XT. With the Z tripod, Apple's IP48 certified design favoring durability at the expense of being able to unfold into an in-between two panel or flex mode setup. With Samsung's take on Android 16, you do of course get Samsung decks for a desktop-like experience, as well as one UI's conventional tablet multitasking. And despite being thinner than even the Z Fold 7 at its narrowest, at 3.9 millimeters, it also plays host to the line's largest battery ever at 5,600 milliamp hours. Beyond that, the specs pretty much mirror that of the Z Fold 7 with 45 watt wired charging, the same camera system, 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM, and at least 512 gigabytes of UFS 4.1 storage. And likely due to development time, it also arrives on the same Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy chip as the Z Fold 7, and not the newer 8 Elite Gen 5 expected to power the Galaxy S26 series early next year. The Galaxy Z Trifold launches first in South Korea on December 12th, coming in at equivalent to $2,500 US dollars, which is about 40% more than the price of the Z Fold 7 at launch. It's also then slated to come to the likes of Singapore, China, the UAE, and the US, with no mention as yet of availability in Europe or the UK. It's also expected to cost a little more in those regions too, at closer to $3,000. So what do you think? Is Samsung's long-awaited trifold here to shake up the mobile market, or is it nothing more than an overpriced gimmick? Let me know.